De La Wright, my envy this. Welcome. Paropo is said to have embarrassed Oleti Tok so much as she stormed Paropo's house in anger, crying and um, um, stating that um, uh, she's going to fight with the last um, drop of her, you know, um, blow, if as in to ensure that her children get what rightfully belongs to them. Now, why did this come up again? It came up as a result of the fact that uh, she sat down with the owner of Ife according to what she is saying as it is alleged and rumored. And they had an agreement that um, they would try and do something that would bring spice into their relationship. And one of such things that she would want when Oni of Ife asked her to suggest, she claimed that uh, she just suggested that they own a beach house, a resort, okay, where they can be going and spending time together with family and right now God has blessed her with that family, KBSC decided to go and do that same bid, um, um, bidding for um, Olori and Naomi rather than herself. Now we heard over the course of the week that um, KBSC bought um, a beach house, um, a resort for um, himself and Olori Naomi, that um, this property was brought, bought from Oba Ilegishi, that is one of the best acro around that area where they have um, the Bishi um, um, houses. And they said it's so beautiful, and KBSC named it um, after Olori Naomi, Queen Naomi's um, um, uh, beach resort, or Queen Naomi's resort. And they said this has not gone well with Olori Toby, who has cried so much. They said, allegedly, as it is rumored, that she now went um, to the resort center to go and meet with Oni of Ife because she heard that Oni was there. But of course, she heard that Kabiesi was there with Queen Naomi. One would have thought that she would wait for Kabiesi to get to see her. And then they said she went there. She got the biggest embarrassment of her lifetime. She cried so much and she went back home. And this will not be the first or the second time as we are hearing if this information we keep getting on social media is the truth. So right now, as that did not work out and the Seca BSC has not been able to see her since that day, she now went to Ife where she met with um, Paropo and she was crying that um, um, she was going to fight for what rightfully belongs to her children. And so what she is stating is that Queen Naomi will uh, um, either relinquish the um, um, royal mansion or relinqu uh, relinquish the um, uh, mansion in Abuja. They said Olori Naomi has a mansion in Abuja in a place called Minister's Hill in my town. They said that minister's hill, my mansion was bought for Tade Nikawa in one of those bad days. That they said they have um, um, uh, people there who are taking care of the mansion. That they, it has been under locks and keys. That um, it was only a few weeks ago they said only quietly went there. And Nami and Oni they also uh, met in that mansion, the one in Abuja. So basically. It is looking like all the best things of life that belongs to the Oni of Ife belongs to Lori Naomi and Tade Nikawo, okay? And so the Loris are not having it at all as it is um, rumored and reported and alleged. And they are very upset. And one of the Loris that is so upset about this is Olori um, TikTok as we are hearing it. Now, do not forget these are all alleged news, okay? And these are news that are making rounds on social media. Um, 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 and, you know, these are not first-hand information, and you must bear that in mind. Um, uh, and understand that whatever you see on social media, I want to take it with a pinch of salt. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for being here. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Delarama. I bring you fresh and spicy just from the sauce is still on the royals. How are you guys doing? I hope you your week, your day is going well. The week is still fresh. Let's keep our expectations high. God is going to meet us at our various points of needs. I appreciate you guys so much. Love you. Thank you so much. Okay, if you're yet to subscribe, kindly go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Do not forget to turn on the notification bell and do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Now, they said there has been a very serious embarrassment again for Ole Tick as um, 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 Paropo shunned her and asked her to go back and never returned there again with any complaint because she went to meet Paropo and she was stating um, um, the, um, the fact that it's if it's going to take the last drop of her blue, that she was going to fight to ensure that Kinami relinquishes either the royal mansion or the house in Abuja, that it doesn't make any sense that Kabiasi is busy, you know, and 
taking out his best properties and giving to Joe Stade, um, Nikawa, that there is something that is wrong. There is a likelihood that Olorinami is using something that everybody thinks she is an angel, the, the meekest woman in the world and all of that, that anybody, everybody has the capacity to pretend the way Olorinami is pretending that this cannot be love, that Kabiesi is doing all of this for Olori Nami when he has got all of these women around him. And so she's ready to stand up and begin to fight. Everybody thinks that every other person is using something except Olori Naomi, that she's not going to have it. She's not going to take it. She's not going to continue to bear it. She's not going to act as if everything is okay so they can call her a good girl. Now, she has got um, a lot of names that people call her. She could care less. It's not her reality. But then she would state what she wants to state, that she wants one of those properties, either the one in Abuja or Lagos, for her children. Now, you know, the thing is that um, people need to understand that when a man loves a woman, like I said, when a man loves a woman, hey, it's not a small something, no. Hey, <laughs> when a man loves a woman, you would think it's juju. This is exactly what everyone is beginning to think because Oni of Ife is ready to give anything to that woman. You know why? That is because he loves Olori Naomi. That is because he wants to be with Olori Naomi. That is because he wants to be sure that his son, Tadenikawo, gets that security that the boy needs to get. That is because he's trying to pay for the things that he has done wrong to Olori Naomi. How do you get married to a 25 years old virgin and treat the woman the way Naomi was treated? Naomi has gone through a lot and deserved a lot. You know that. Um, 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 the, 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 the humiliation was real, the pain was real, the embarrassment was real, and so is her victory. Why is it that people are able to bear the pain that Naomi went through, but they are not ready to bear the victory that she is enjoying right now? But you know that when God be for you, nobody can be against you. I do know that, you know, at some point, a lot of people were thinking that, you know, especially when um, Oleti gave birth to her beautiful kids. Everybody thought that was the end of Olori Naomi, but it was almost as if the bed of these kids that they're fueling the love for the um, um, uh, for, for Olori Naomi in the heart of the Oni of Ife. And that is why they say when God wants to bless you, God is going to use a situation to bless you. And that is why people will always say to you that, there are some blessings that come in these guys and you must recognize them when you say them. This is what has been going on. They say um, Paropo embarrassed her and asked her to leave and never return there again. Now her own is too much. Her pepper body is too much. She should just leave Naomi out of her jealousy and leave Naomi out of her her, her, her mind. Um, this is what we are hearing allegedly as it is rumored, as it is reported. Um, it's not a small something, no, but I'm going to bring you more update. I appreciate you so much. Thank you.